Craig in Dallas wants to know, how is playing craps on a cruise ship different than craps at a land-based casino? Ah, uh, well, you're a captive audience on a cruise ship, obviously. You can't go to the casino next door and play unless you're a very strong swimmer. And then you're gonna get over there and you're gonna find the same game. So, on Royal Caribbean, for example, you're gonna find a $500 table max. You're gonna find a $10 game, usually with single odds, which means you can bet $10 on the pass line and $10 behind the line. So, players like me who want to get a little more action on the table figure out different ways to do that. Uh, let's just take betting the five and nine, for example. If you bet a $10 pass line bet and the point is five, and you bet single odds behind it, you've got 20 action on the five. If it wins, you're going to win a total of $25. If you took that same $20 and you place bet the five, it's going to win $28. So you're going to win more by placing it instead of playing the pass line. So I prefer not to play the pass line unless I'm the shooter when I'm on a cruise ship. I just place bet the numbers and I play the pass line when I'm the shooter. Then when I'm the shooter and the point's five and I've got my $10 on the line and my $10 odds behind, then I'll place the five in addition to the amount of money I have on the pass line and odds to give me additional money out there so I'll get paid more. Simple enough. If you have not been on a craps cruise or maybe you have been on a craps cruise, book your next one. Okay, go on to URCOM, go in the My Offers section and click on Meetups and you will find the Craft Cruise on there.